Celestial Praise Ministries, a virtual non-denominational ministry serving all people of all faiths everywhere. Featuring Bishop Phil Willis. Brought to you by Jeff Sounds Productions. For all your professional voiceover needs, from voicemail greetings and music on hold to radio and television commercials, see the voices heard around the world at www.jeffsounds.com. Now, here's Bishop Phil Willis. The blood still works. The blood have not lost its power. The Holy Ghost power in the blood yet works. I invite you to try him for yourself. You done tried that man and that didn't work for you. You done tried that woman and that didn't work for you. Have you tried Jesus? I can raise my hand and tell you, yes, Heller, I have. And he's aight. He's aight. Don't tell me you don't know what that means. You text it all the time. I-G-H-T, aight. A-I-G-H-T. He's aight. What do I know about Jesus? I know his blood still works. His red blood. We'll take a black soul tarnished by sin and shame and wash it whiter than snow. The blood still works. In this day of foolery and fakery, it still works. The blood is still real. The blood of Jesus yet is a prescription, a glory come that on. will not fail you. Come on, come on. Had an experience this week. I've been on a new med for a condition in my body for about three or four months now. And just this week, it decided to act a fool and not work no more. Well. And it's been, I mean, it was a wonder drug for me. I've been chasing potties and bathrooms all over the city. I can tell you where every clean bathroom is. And as soon as the doctor put me on this pill, I'm telling you within a couple of days, I was good to go. But one day this week it decided to, I don't know what it was doing, I don't know, act a fool. But I'm letting you know that the blood of Jesus, there's no recalls. Hey, glory! Ah, come on, God. There's no recalls. Hey, glory! I tell you what, I know the devil mad as hell. He can hold my body down, but you can't hold my spirit and my Holy Ghost down. Come on, come on. There is no recall on the Holy Ghost. There is no recall on the blood of Jesus Christ. He shed his blood back 42 generations ago, over 2,000 years ago, on the hill Golgotha, and his blood ran down the cross and on the ground. And you be well assured, my brother and my sister, there was one drop at least for show. Well, How you spell it? F-A space S-H-O. For show. For show. Show you right. He bless him. There was one drop for show that he shed just for you. At least one drop. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. It don't take a bathtub full. It don't take a Mississippi River full. You don't have to fill all five great lakes with his blood to work. Just tap into a drop of it with your faith and stand back and watch and see what God might just not do for you. Oh, bless him. Bless him. This is not what I was going to talk to you about. I want to rap to you about some other stuff tonight. Elder Vance choked us in the five o'clock hour. Thank you, Elder Vance. We're going to send that service up and we get off of the, out of this service. Some of you folks need to go back and listen to it. You talked about the Freemasons, the Secret Society of the Masons, the Eastern Star. You need to go back. He's going to continue to teach on every Saturday evening until he's done with it. You need to go back and listen to it. Those whom God called, he qualified. I'm not qualified to teach on that subject. Reverend Vance is qualified. We're going to up it after this service. God bless you. May the Lord give you strength. May the Lord give you courage. 
May the Lord prop you up on every fallen side. May the Lord be your high tower. May He be your leaning post. Might He be your light in darkness. And that for sure He is. Might He be your bridge over some mighty troubled water. Yes, He will. The old folks just summed it up like this and said, He's my all in all. He'll be whatever you want him to be. He'll rock you in his arms. Oh, yes, he will. He'll let you know that he loves you and that he cares about you. In those lonely hours, somebody wrote a song about it. Through it all. In those dry places, where it seemed like that nobody know. And if they know, they don't really care whether you live or you die. Be well assured that God is yet on the throne. My Bible tells me that he knows us this well. That every hair on our head, he's got them numbered. And somebody carried it even one step further. Well, and say he even know the right color they're supposed to be. Come on, God is aware. He is apprised. He's been made to know about your situation. He cares about your destiny. Mama may not care. Mamas have a lot on their mind. Sometimes things will make it past mama. As Peanut would say with Jeff Dunham, yeah. it may seem that daddy don't care. And sometimes it's not a matter that daddy Seem daddy don't care. Daddy don't care because daddy don't know. Because daddy not there. He's out doing his own thing. He done did his own thing. He done got locked up. He done did his own thing so much until he's dead in the ground. But be well assured that God sat high but he looked low. He knows where you are. He knows what you've been through. He knows what you're going through now. Come on, now. All he wants you to do is lean on him. All he wants you to do is come to him. God not going to chase you down, grab you by the hair of your head, snatch that weave out the back and leave a ball spot where the glue was holding it in. God don't move like that. Sometimes he just speak in a small, still voice. Oh, yes. Well. He's God when the thunder rolls. He's God when the lightning flashes. He's God way up in heaven. Come on now. And he's God way down in my soul. But sometimes he'd just speak in a small, still voice, in a whisper. We used to sing a song when I was a kid, you don't hear it too much anymore. I'll be somewhere listening for my name. I will my heart be right. Oh, I wish I knew all the words. When he calls me. Will my robe be white when he calls me? Jesus loves you tonight. He may not love the things you're doing. God loves the sinner, but he hates the sin. God doesn't hate you. He doesn't despise you. He just wants you to come to him and surrender your life to him and change your ways. 
You say, I can't go to heaven stealing and robbing and killing and killing. No ma'am, no sir. The Word of God said that heaven is a holy place filled with glory and with grace. Sin can never enter there.